Hey there, I'm Stephanie Flaxman. I've been a writer and editor for 20 years, and I have more than 200 videos on YouTube that help you live and work like a writer. That is a lot of videos, so let me curate my best advice for you. You can sign up for free exclusive updates at stephanieflaxman.com. I'll send you my top tips for new writers, plus other advice that works best in email rather than audio or video. It would be my pleasure to meet you at your inbox as your new writer consultant. Ready to join the club? Go to stephanieflaxman.com to sign up for free. And remember, I spell Stephanie with an F, not a PH. The proper spelling is on your screen right now. That is stephanieflaxman.com. I'll see you there. Happy Wednesday, if you are listening in real time. And if you are not listening in real time, but would like to, just subscribe to the channel and tap the notification bell. I post new podcast episodes every weekday. Today's episode title comes from the 1986 Billy Joel song, a Matter of Trust, which was on the album, The Bridge. I love Billy Joel. I may have mentioned that before. Uh, I have limited myself, however, to doing some sort of Billy Joel reference to once a week. I have to restrict myself so that every podcast episode title is not taken from some Billy Joel song title or some Billy Joel song lyric, because if I didn't limit myself, I would be out of control. I just think, uh, yeah, he is one of the greats, in my opinion. I love all of his stuff, such a variety over the years. Um, but I had to steal a matter of trust for today's episode, or rather the lyric, it's always been a matter of trust, because trust is what I wanted to talk about today. It really ties together everything that I've been going over in the past several episodes. And really since I decided to start hosting podcast episodes every day. It's so much easier to say every day than every weekday. So please don't get me on a technicality. I just like to say every day, even though I do not post anything on Saturday and Sunday. Because we all should be enjoying our weekend. This writing stuff can be so serious sometimes. And when you're passionate and serious about the work that you're doing, it's so easy to forget to lighten up and have fun. So yes, I only publish on weekdays. And trust it's not that it's overlooked. I think people understand that in order to collaborate with someone, to purchase from a company or a person, that there has to be a level of trust in there. I don't think trust is not talked about, but I think that the idea of getting a lot of attention online with your writing and the idea of going, quote, viral and having just a flood of people flock to something that you did is usually more flashy, a little more glamorous, a little more interesting to people than the idea of building trust over time. It's not that you don't need attention from the group of people who you are looking to serve, but there is a false belief that all that attention and the idea of a post going viral is going to lead to a breakthrough and open up doors for you that really doesn't happen most of the time because that attention and that viral post that you want to have usually isn't built on trust. If you think that your cat is the cutest cat in the world and if you post a video of the cat then on Instagram, let's just say, and everybody likes your post and you get a bunch of followers really quickly and tons of views and all those things, you are entertaining those people momentarily. And you might be entertaining them in the future if you get a lot of 
subscribers or followers or whatever happens after a post goes, quote, viral and, and you get a lot of quick attention. But those people don't know you. They don't trust you. Really, why would they trust you? You're just someone who entertains them momentarily and then they're keep on, they keep scrolling through their feed. And then ultimately, most of the time, that person doesn't have an actual business. They don't have an actual product or service that they're selling that they can offer all of that attention. We place too much importance on just being someone that people like and and want to follow. But where does that really lead? It is very rare that those people are just so exceptional that they get all these brand deals and and all of these advertising things that can be uh, looked at like quick fixes, just becoming an influencer overnight and getting all of uh, the uh, attention and sponsorships. And, and that's not how real businesses are built. Those are the exceptions. So it's not that people don't understand trust. It's that in our fast paced, superficial, shallow world, it is easy, it is the easier way to get caught up on these overnight successes, quick fixes, instead of the practical, realistic steps of building trust with your own publication over time. So that's why I've been talking about using your real name or using a professional name that you use all across everywhere you publish online, your social media profiles, your website, your blog, everything having a cohesive presentation to the audience that you are serving with your work to build trust over time. Because rather than those one in a million quick fixes of, of, I'm just going to become an influencer overnight. What really happens is the way you really build a business as a writer for hire is consistently showing up for the audience that you serve. And then you build trust over time to form genuine relationships with your readers and genuine relationships with other people in your space who you could collaborate with, who you could have partnerships with. Trust is more important than attention. Genuine relationships built on mutual respect, which is where all the good stuff comes from, is based on trust. So I'm going to leave you with a quote from Mr. Joel from the song, A Matter of Trust, which is really a motto for this podcast And it could be a motto for the work that you are doing and the portfolio, the publication, and the relationships that you are building with your writing. So here we go. Here's the quote. This time you've got nothing to lose. You can take it. You can leave it. Whatever you choose. I won't hold back anything. And I'll walk away a fool or a king. That is it for today. If you'd like to get exclusive tips that I only share in email, go on over to stephanieflaxman.com and sign up for free. I will see you there and talk with you soon.